So I woke up this morning and noticed that Shogun 2 got an update after 12 years. This should be interesting. It is necessary for us to remove those chat services from Total War Shogun 2 and our other legacy titles. What? No, that can't be real. Wait, where are the chats? Wow. They really are all gone. <laughs> Yep, it's true. Total War Shogun 2 was updated. Here is the post with the patch notes released by Creative Assembly this morning. I've left a link to this in the video description for you all to read. Essentially, it is a performance update. However, they removed the current chat systems from Total War Shogun 2, farther gutting its multiplayer, which is unfortunate to say the least. It's not shocking that CA is stripping away from their older titles, as even Napoleon and other legacy titles lost their chat features. They also mentioned that they're going to find ways to implement and support chat in our future projects properly. I don't understand why they mention updating their future projects without even considering updating the older titles with those chat features as well. It seems like Creative Assembly is keen on making their older titles lose replayability, even though Avatar Conquest is the best multiplayer experience out of all the Total War titles. It's just baffling that they're removing the chat systems, even though this game is still well received. This update did have some benefits though. I saw some Discord screenshots from Shogun 2 modders indicating that the performance improvements were good. However, they failed to test the bugs, and the problem is that the mod manager is no longer available, so the Steam Workshop is not going to work. However, if you revert back to the previous version of Shogun 2, you will be able to use your mods. Again, there still needs to be more testing done with this patch and how it affects Shogun 2, so I'll try to keep you guys updated on that. Also, if you love Shogun 2 and other Total War games, along with strategy games in general, please like and subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot, and I appreciate your support. All right, I'm in Shogun 2 just to demonstrate how impactful the lack of chat systems are when it comes to the gameplay. So we'll go to the Conquest map, Battle List. And you can see, look, no chats, no player list, no nothing, just bare bones. Let's host a battle here. And would you look at that? No chat list, no player list once again. It's just crippling because it really makes Shogun 2 less accessible. Yes, you can use Discord to communicate, but all multiplayer games thrive off of communicating with opponents and teammates alike with an in-game chat. Having the chat in-game makes it more accessible and allows you to communicate much more easily than over Discord, because not everyone has access to a microphone. Additionally, it's going to be hard to play with random people who just join your lobbies, or if you want to host a public lobby because you won't be able to communicate with them in chat and you won't be able to know their Discord just right off the bat. Unless you know them over Discord, it's going to be hard to communicate playing with someone in Shogun 2. I've set up a battle so I can show you that in-game, the lack of chat systems also plays a factor. All right, we've entered the battle and typically there was a button here to press to open an in-game chat so you could communicate with your opponents or teammates. It's very nice because people would say good luck, have fun, ready, or good games to their opponents during matches. It's just, you know, multiplayer etiquette. Additionally, it was good to communicate with just your teammates during the battle. Maybe you're all in the same VC together and you don't want to communicate openly to everyone, so you're going to just use this to communicate with your teammates. Now you don't have those options, which means everyone's going to have to get into separate VCs or other things like that. With this option removed, it limits and harms the multiplayer experience, and once again makes the game less accessible and replayable. Additionally, if Creative Assembly can update the game, why not fix the Tokugawa and Hattori Kisho Ninja units? As you can see based off the pictures here, they lack ammo compared to the other clan's Kisho Ninjas, even though the Tokugawa has a clan trait that specifically buffs Kisho Ninjas, and the Hattori are the Shinobi-focused clan. To go even further, why not support Shogun 2 with continued patch updates? Surely there are other improvements to be made to the game, perhaps even the introduction of new units, or maybe making other clans playable. It still has a great community and it's well-received. You can even see other YouTube 
YouTubers making Shogun 2 videos and getting tons of views well after it's been released. Voland also made a video on a Shogun 2 update similar to this about a year ago, and he articulated things rather well and provides excellent explanations, so do give that a watch too. Hopefully the workshop gets fixed or is moved to another mod launcher. Overall though, I'm extremely disappointed by this update. Now, Shogun 2 multiplayer is still possible without chats, but it's painful and it's such a shame since Avatar Conquest is so great. There is a petition you all should sign that demands Creative Assembly restore chat features to its older legacy titles. I've left a link to that in the description as well. Lastly, if you love Shogun 2, and multiplayer especially, then join my Discord. Link to that is in the description as well. I host lots of lobbies and there's plenty of players there for you guys to all connect with. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Take care.